Today we're making giant cardinals that glow with LED lights. These cardinals are the perfect addition to any Christmas or holiday decorations. So join me for this super simple tutorial. To begin making our LED cardinals, we need insulation foam board. Now they sell these in sheets of four foot by eight foot, and this one is two inches thick. You don't wanna go with anything thinner, so you wanna definitely have that two inches of thickness. You could also use plywood, but plywood is heavier, it's harder to cut, and it'll be probably be a little bit more difficult to attach the LED light, so I'm definitely gonna stick with insulation foam board. Next, we need a tracer slash projector. I got an amazing one on Amazon. I'm linking it in the description of this video. You just print something out from the internet. I found a cardinal image. You put it underneath the tracer and it projects the image onto any surface. Then you can get a marker and then trace it out completely. It's super simple, super easy. I'm also including the picture of the cardinal that I printed in the description of the video so you know which one I used and it's super easy. Print it out put it underneath your tracer. So now that we've done this, let's get our jigsaw and let's start cutting it out. Before we continue with this tutorial, I wanted to show you all the first book that I've written. It's called Little Olive and the Wally Bat, and it's rated for kids ages two to six years old. It follows a brave little olive that gets lost and is found by a very helpful brown bat. This is the first book I've ever written and I'm super excited about it. It's available on Amazon via paperback or Kindle. So if anyone wants to support me or read it to their kiddos, go check it out. The link is in the bio of the video, Little Olive and the Wally Bat on Amazon. Now let's get back to this amazing tutorial. To finish off our cardinal, we need rope LED lights. Now, everything I use, I always list in the description of the video. This one is in red, but you could also use white. I just think that the red LED light will look better when it outlines it. We're gonna stick this to the bird with construction adhesive right here. This is Gorilla Glue. This is clear. You wanna get the clear one. And we have our caulking gun right there. And we're gonna hold it in place with these cable staples right over here, right here. So once we put the glue right in the middle, you put it right in the middle just like that, you attach it and then you put the cable staple like that and you push it in and it stays just like that. Once it dries, we can remove it. Super simple to do. So remember, these type of rope LED lights only throw light from one side. So make sure you turn it on first to make sure that the light is coming the right way because this red side over here is the only thing that lights up. It won't light up from this side or from the bottom. So we're gonna start just like this. And this rope light is 16 feet long. So let's get to it. So I realized a little bit too late that I wasn't filming this part. My phone had died. So let me walk you through how this went down. All we're using are these cable staples like I mentioned before. And as you're applying the LED strip, you're simply gonna grab one and you're going to push it in just like that. You don't have to hammer it in, you don't have to do any of that. You can just use your fingers to push it in. And the reason we're doing it is so that it can dry while holding this. So we get it like this and we do that. And just like that, it starts to hold it. So what you wanna do is when you put your adhesive you wanna do one side at a time. So put a thick bead of adhesive in the middle. This is the back and the back of the head of the bird. And then start applying the rope. As you apply it, put a staple. As you apply, put another staple. And then in the end, you should have something like this. You have them all like that. But this type of adhesive normally takes about 24 hours to dry. But after about three, maybe four hours, come back to it 
and take off the staples. The reason being, you don't want the glue to harden around the staples so that you can't take it off. So in about three hours, it'll be tacky enough that the strip won't fall off and these will still be pliable so you'll be able to take them out so that if you leave them on, they'll stay stuck there, okay? And that's how you put it. It's super, super easy, super simple. Let's get to it. When you get to tight places like here, this is the, the wing and where the tail meets, you can bend this rope LED a lot and it won't break. So when you bend it in there, you get a staple, you put it right there, you get another staple, you put it here, and you could get another staple and put it here. You just wanna make sure it's held in place really well. I use about 60 staples for one bird. You can use as many as you want. The more the merrier, because it holds everything nicely. But it's very easy to bend and it's super easy to do. It should take you no more than 10 to 15 minutes to stick the LED with the glue. And this is how we did the Cardinal's feet. We start on the left side over here and we go all the way around. But when we come back, look at that. And right here, it was a little bit too tight, so I just did it like this. But then we come in here like this, we come right there, and just like that. And everything is permanently stuck, and that's how you do the tight areas of the feet. And right here, this is going to connect in the back right there, and it's just perfect, super easy. To finish the cardinals, we need to attach a piece of PVC pipe to the back of it. This pipe is going to be the support so that you can keep it on the lawn by placing a piece of rebar into the ground and then this PVC pipe over to keep it steady. So before we attach it with expanding foam, make sure you get the angle that you want the bird to be in. So if you want it to be like this, it's going to be like that. But I want my birds to be like this. So what I've done is I've placed it like this and then I've drawn a line with a pencil and a line on top so I know exactly where the, the PVC pipe needs to go. So once I have that, we can start. And now that we're ready, we're gonna put a little bit of expanding foam where the pipe is gonna lay down, just like that. Then we're gonna put the pipe on top of it like this. Perfect, and then we're gonna put a little bit crisscrossing it like this. We're gonna stop right there. Perfect, and now once this dries in a few hours and it cures, we're gonna paint the back red, we're gonna paint all of this red, Gonna put our rebar into the ground and then this fits nicely over it and it'll stay standing in windy, rainy or snowy conditions.